Today I am getting grill ready by making kebab three different ways. Delicious onion kebab, eggplant kebab, and mushroom kebab. All made with tender ground beef, seasoned to perfection with a seven spice blend. It's so good and so delicious and I can't wait to show you just how I make my kebabs. So let's get started. Okay, so to make our kebabs, first and foremost, I'm going to start with my meat. So I have some lean ground beef here, and to that I'm going to add my spice blend. So I'm using seven different spices. I'm using some red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, some dried oregano, some paprika, some cumin, some black pepper, and of course some salt. So I'm just going to combine everything together in one little bowl here. And this just ensures that our meat is going to be nice and flavorful. If you have like a preferred spice blend, you could totally just season your meat like that. But I like to mix up my own, you know, depending on what I feel like having a taste for. <laughs> Alright, that looks great. So now, I'm just going to sprinkle it over my meat. And as I do, I'm just going to knead it together so that I make sure that all of the meat is equally spiced. And as I do, I will see if I need to add more of my spice mix. I love making kebabs. I mean, it's something that I see my dad making since I was a kid. And then when I visited Turkey, I saw the plethora of different kebabs. And adding a kebab is one of my favorites. But I also really love the eggplant kebab. So that's one of them that I'm making for you today. And I love the versatility of all of the different types of kebabs. There are so many and for depending on the type of meat you like or the vegetables that you like or the spices or if you don't like it spicy, there's something for everyone. <laughs> Beautiful. All the spices smell so good together too. Nice smoky undertones with the cumin, a nice flavorful essence with the spices and just a hint of spice with the red pepper flakes. Beautiful. That looks great. So now what I'm going to do is just start shaping my meat into meatballs. So I don't want to make my meat bigger than a walnut. So I'm just taking a little piece and I'm rolling into meatballs. And why I want to do this ahead of time before I start with my skewers is I want to make sure that all of the meatballs are evenly distributed. I don't want to have one that's ginormous and then another one that's too small. So I like to do this ahead of time. And it just makes prep super easy. So this is something you can totally prep ahead of time. And then when you're ready to grill, you're ready to go. You just have to skewer them on. So I'm going to take a few more from my meatballs here. And then I have some fresh veggies. So for my eggplant, I'm using a long variety of eggplant rather than the shorter one. And then I'm also going to take at the end a little bit of plum tomato. And I find that the eggplant and tomato you they are best friends <laughs> and it tastes so good together and I think it really keeps the kebab, kebab nice and moist. So I'm going to continue going to make these little meatballs here and then I'm going to wash off and it'll be time to start skewering our kebabs. So good. Okay, so now that I have finished shaping all of my meatballs, I have about 12 mini meatballs here. It's time to start skewering my kebabs. Now, of course, you could use the wooden spoon skewers just as long as you soak them overnight so they don't burn with your grill. But I am using the metal skewers because they're simple and easy to work with and they work great in the oven or the grill. So, first and foremost, let's start with the eggplant kebab. So, what I've done is I've just cut the eggplant into nice large pieces. And one by one, I'm just going to take a piece of eggplant and then a piece of my meat. So, <laughs> the eggplant is really the star of the show here. And as I put the eggplant in the meat and assemble it, I just make sure that it, the eggplant gently presses against the meat. We don't want it to press too hard, but we also don't want it to press too not hard enough. So, again, I'm just taking some of my meat here, and then another piece of my eggplant. Mm, it's going to be so good. When the eggplant gets nice and tender, Delish. <laughs> and then another piece of my delicious seven spice meat. And then another piece of eggplant. Beautiful. And then there we have it. So for the eggplant, as promised, I'm taking one little piece of tomato. You could also just use like a cherry tomato or a grape tomato. 
and now it's ready for the grill. <laughs> so let me show you how I do the onion kebab. Now for the onion kebab, I really recommend using pearl onions or shallots. I'm using these mini shallots here, um, or just like small red onions. So I'm just going to take one of my onions. And what I have done is I've removed the outer layer of skin, but I have left the second layer so that it's not completely revealed. And what I find is that this makes for a really tender onion. It's all of the juices and it really also just flavors the meat so nicely. <laughs> and these onions are perfect size to complement the size of the meatball. So I also really love that. But if you didn't have the smaller onions available, you just slice up pieces of a larger onion and then you slice them right on. <laughs> Again, I take another piece of my delicious flavored meat. Mmm, this looks so good. <laughs> and one of the beautiful things about onion kebab or salon kebab is that you can also make it in the oven in a large pan. So basically just creating the same type of assembly process of a little bit of meat and onion and side by side, you could also recreate the same thing in the oven. I find it really delicious as well. <laughs> Right, so I got a few more of my onions. I'm gonna make a little bit more room. So if you need more room on your skewer, just pull down the onions and the meats. And then again, just making sure they are pressed gently against each other, but also not too hard, right? All right, beautiful. So I'm gonna take one more piece of my meat here, just like that, squeezing it around my skewer. And then, last but not least, one more onion. <laughs> Beautiful. And in there, we have our onion kebab, our salon kebab. So, so far we have the eggplant kebab, and then we have the onion kebab. <laughs> There's one more to this trio, our mushroom kebab. So, for the mushroom kebab, I have some just white mushrooms that I clean. And how I clean them is I just take a damp paper towel and I wipe them clean thoroughly. So this also helps to make sure that the mushrooms can get nice and brown and they don't get all soggy. So I am just taking the mushroom with the stem and through the stem I am just bringing it all the way through. And again, just like with the other two, taking my meat ball and placing it right on top. And I love this one because it's such a beautiful display, you know, and I really love that about the bobs. It's really something that when you invite your friends and family over, you can really enjoy the eating with your eyes first and it tastes like a delicious treat. Again, taking a little piece of my meat. And I like to use anywhere from about five to six mushrooms or vegetables per bob. And I find that this really gives a nice hearty portion. If you wanted to make a more kid sized portion, then you could either just do the bobs in half or you could just have the ingredients. So make it family friendly for everyone. <laughs> and then one more. Just like that. Ooh, this looks so good. And all of the juices from the meats are gonna run into the delicious mushrooms and the eggplant and the onions. And let me tell you, it is so, so delicious. <laughs> So if you have not made the box for yourself, definitely give it a try because it's a fun activity for one and it's just so delicious. Beautiful. Okay, and there we have our delicious natural kebab or our delicious mushroom kebab. So we have the mushroom kebab, our eggplant kebab, and our onion kebab. All three a trio of deliciousness. Now they are ready for the grill. But today, I'm actually going to pop them in my oven. So I'm preheating my oven at about 200 degrees Celsius and let them roast before they're nice and tender. This is a great option for a cold day or a rainy day or a day when you just don't have a grill. <laughs> then you can also just pop them in the oven. But if you had your grill all fired up, then you'll be ready to go just like this. So now we are grill ready or oven ready with our tree, kebab trio and it's gonna be so delicious, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so to bake my kebabs in the oven, what I've done is I've just lined a large baking sheet with a little bit of aluminum foil, and then literally I'm just taking my kebabs and just lining them up one by one on my pan. 
And then I just want to let them roast, just like I would like anything else, or if they were just going to bake it. And until they're nice and tender, and then we will have our delicious kebab trio. Alright, the eggplant kebab, <laughs> our delicious onion kebab, and our delicious mushroom kebab. So good. Okay, so my kebabs have just finished cooking, and the meat is nice and tender, and the veggies are perfectly done. Looks so good. They're nice and hot. <laughs> so I'm just going to gently place them here on my board, just using some tongs here to help me, and then gravity. <laughs> oh, beautiful. The tender tomato on there, too. And sometimes it's really delicious just to make a kebab of only tomatoes. I find that it goes really nicely with the meat and the other veggies. So good. So excited to eat these. And then there we have it. Our kebab trio. Our eggplant kebab, our mushroom kebab, and our onion kebab. So delicious. All made at home with a grill or oven. Regardless, you have a delicious meal. So. Thank you so much for checking out this video for how to make the bobs. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you give it a try for yourself in your own home kitchen. And until the next video, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you next time. See ya!